And while we're talking about innovative machinery, wait till you see this next story. Now, you may remember that last May, Daily Planet conducted a talent search. And we were the result. No, sorry. We asked people to send in video clips of themselves to demonstrate to us their enthusiasm for presenting science and technology stories like the ones on Daily Planet. So we waded through dozens of entries and the man that caught our attention the most was one with boundless energy and, impre and an impressive invention to boot. We liked him so much, we decided to do an entire story on him. Here's Mark Miller. In an old cannery not far from the airport, you'll find Doc Holloway and his warehouse full of what some people say is junk. I, I happen to love RX-7s and I've got four of them apart here in pieces. This is a man who loves to tinker. Everybody needs a, a T-33 ejector seat. I've got one right there. This one's from 1958. I've got a couple of them. People think you're a little bit crazy? No, they, they, they know for sure. They know for sure. Just a little... Uh, my, one of my girlfriends used to say I was, I was a half bubble off level. And when he's not tinkering, he's flying. And away we go. Is that, is that the line in the airfield? No, that's Pitt Meadows. Pitt Meadows. I'm putting an F-18 in Pitt Meadows. But these days, he's recovering from a broken back. <laughs> the result of one of my flights. It happened after his paraglider was slammed into the ground by a gust of wind a few weeks ago. Yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic uh, cell phone holder. But a near miss is not enough to keep this pilot out of the air. Now, I'll pull back hard. I feel a need for speed. Look at those cumies. I could be a paragliding there. Tucked away in the back room at Doc's computer repair shop, you'll find his latest invention and latest contribution to aviation. Well, this one's the UJ 4.0. The UJ 4.0 is a flight simulator. Officially, we're calling it the ultimate joyrider. The cockpit is made of piping. It moves from side to side and up and down. You know, just uh, pull back on the control stick and it, it moves it up, push to the side, it, it tips it. It's attached to a joystick at its base that commands the flight simulator software. If you're doing a, a aerobatics, the scenery is moving all over the place, you feel like you're doing it. <laughs> If you've ever dreamed of flying in an air show or dropping a passenger jet into Hong Kong's old Kai Tech airport. Ready? Yep. In you go. This is one way to do it without ever leaving the ground. You feel like you're there. The motion of the pilot seat makes it all feel surprisingly realistic. I had a test pilot from, uh, from Learjet coming here from Bombardier and he flew it and he was, he was very impressed. Doc got the idea after reading a magazine article about flight sims. He started bending, welding, and inventing the ultimate joyrider. Ta-da! Just like building things. It's been grabbing headlines and turning heads in the aviation business ever since. Within a week, I was getting uh, emails and, and phone calls from people that had seen, seen the article and wanted to know more about it. Still going way too fast. At $1,500 a unit, a fraction of the cost of a full-size commercial simulator, the aviation industry is noticing. For the price of uh, electricity versus the price of gas, it's a bargain. Oh, I am all over the sky. Doc will be grounded for another few months until his back heals. Under the lion's gate. But that won't keep him out of the air. Now we'll do a little barrel roll just to celebrate the occasion. And if the ultimate joyrider someday becomes the ultimate trainer, Woo. will Doc try to get his pilot's license? My God, the way I fly, they take it away within, within two days. In the meantime, as Doc heals up, he's got time to clean up. We can Let's strap it on the roof. Let's strap it on the roof. <laughs> and move out some of that old junk. Oh, what about in the back seat? What about we take the front seat out? Well, yeah. where's Kevin going to ride? We can strap, strap him on the we'll roof. Strap him you never quite know what you're going to find when you're on one of these daily planet shoots. We wanted an ejection seat. Thanks, Doc. You're welcome. You're welcome. Appreciate it. My pleasure.